Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a client that exe error message where Windows cannot find a certain program extension. So, from the research I've done into this, it appears that this comes up typically if a program was not uninstalled properly or in the event of potential malware infection of your computer, perhaps there were remnants left behind in your task folder in System32 in which were not fully removed by your antivirus or anti-malware application. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. Uh, please keep in mind this is definitely a little bit more hands-on, so if you're not really comfortable getting into System32 here, and you have a difficult time following instructions, this tutorial is not for you, so please go elsewhere. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we are going to start by creating a system restore backup of our computer. So I would highly suggest that you start right there. And we're going to start by just opening up the start menu, type in system restore. Best match, should come back to create a restore point. You want to go ahead and left click on that one time. So in the event that we had any issues here, we could always, in the worst case scenario, use a recoverable media device. So like the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and boot into the recovery options and then access the system restore we've saved. Also save it as a CD or DVD. Again, the odds of that happening are pretty unlikely, but just in the worst case scenario, it's good to be covered in all different angles. So I'm going to enable protection for my C drive where Windows installed on. Select the configure. I'm going to turn on system protection because it was currently turned off. I'm going to turn it on here and we're going to create a restore point. So I'm just going to call it what I mean, it doesn't have to be anything. I'm just going to name it the date. So I'm going to create the restore point here. Should take a couple moments to create it. Just be patient. It should say restore point was created successfully. Going to click on close here. And if we click on the system restore button, just to make sure it was saved in here and we select next, you can see the restore point we created has been saved. So now that's out of the way and we got our backup covered. We're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Type in file explorer. Best match to come back with File Explorer here. Go ahead and select that. If you prefer to just go ahead and go through the taskbar, if you have an icon down there, feel free. And we're going to go select this PC on the left side. Double click on whatever your local disk where Windows is installed on. So it should have a little Windows icon above the hard drive if that's any help. Go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. And if you scroll down, you'll want to look for System32. If you do not see this folder, go ahead and select the View tab up at the top of this window. And then where it says Hidden Items, you want to just make sure that's checkmarked in here. And double click on the System32 folder now. Scroll down until you get to Task, plural. So right here, Task, like I said. Now, there should be pretty plain English here from almost every program I've ever seen whenever I go in here. So it should be pretty easy to identify different tasks. If you see a task like some program that was previously on your computer and it's no longer there, you probably want to just delete it. You can see that it's pretty easy to identify programs here. So for example, you got CCleaner, I know that's a legitimate program. You got the Google Updater, whatnot. So a lot of these are just maintenance tools, so potentially, you know, just checking system status and whatnot. And then if you actually went in this Microsoft folder here, I would personally avoid going and modifying anything in here put all these files in here by themselves. I think it's worth just kind of going through. It's pretty easily written here. So I personally know what most of these programs are. Just one restart here. 
I'm not really sure where that is, but I know it's not supposed to be here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just right click on that and select delete. And it's as simple as just deleting that. So pretty straight, so pretty straightforward. I noticed that if you go online, there's some people that talk about like the rocket tab. I don't know if maybe that's why you guys are here or not, but just keep that in mind. It could be different names as well. So again, rocket, it might be a bad program. You maybe want to remove that, but I'm just giving you guys an example to work with. So once you're done, close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. Hopefully, it won't get that pop-up dialog window anymore. So as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.